What's up YouTube? It's Tyler Schulte again and today I'm going to be showing you a comparison between Apple's stock 4.2.1 firmware and White Door's modified 3.1.3 firmware. So to start us off today I'm going to be doing a standard booting test. Now with the White Door firmware I will have Cydia and a few extra iOS applications on here. But I've disabled multitasking and wallpapers and any other features that are not necessary and that are not based in the White Door firmware. And in the iOS stock IPSW, there's no jailbreak in it. And so it's just simply been restored and had both of these have had a few items like music synced to them. Which there's not that much music because like I said in my previous videos, I don't really put a lot of stuff on my iPods. And so basically all they have is about a hundred songs on them and maybe one application and so to start it off I'm just gonna do a boot test right now so we're gonna hold the back the power buttons start one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, done, 26, 27, 28, 29. Alright, so we got about 26, 27 seconds on this guy, and this guy had 29. And so, although they have extra, although this one has more features, it is, however, slower than Apple's IPSW uh, and so it, it's the white door team again did a very good job adding features and making it yet go faster than Apple's own I firmware so if you want you can try out white door it's very good firmware otherwise you can just jailbreak and install the tweaks but doing that will slow it down but so as you can see, and then if I I can enable more features on this, and it will still run faster than this firmware from Apple, which I also find very amazing. So check White Door out in my other video. I'll post a little caption or the link in the description. So check it out and link, subscribe again. Do whatever you YouTubers do out there. And so I'll be seeing you later.